dude. Oh, second it, Cash! Oh, What's going on everybody? Taylor Flannery with Muskie Guarantee Guide Service. Today I'm showing you a clip from early spring. My buddy and I went down south and we were chasing some muskies and we had an awesome trip down there. Um, the very first catch, unfortunately, uh, I'm gonna show it to you here real quick, but uh, my buddy caught a fish on a Rusty's Custom six inch six sucker, say that 10 times fast, but absolutely incredible bait, uh, really put a hurting on these fish down there. But the very first one was, uh, we were coming into rain and we took the cameras down and of course that's when it happened. So uh, the first fish of this video, all we have is just the basically photo and release. Uh, I'll bring that to you right now. <laughs> This next fish catch that we feature here is my buddy was ripping this same uh, Rusty's Custom 6 inch 6 sucker and uh, we were working along like a little island with a little bit of rock on it and some nice weeds on the outside of it. So what this is is basically a spawning bay on the inside and deep water on the outside so those fish were just pushing off that structure. Um, we were just getting into uh, post spawn muskies. This one was freshly scarred up. She was beat up. Um, didn't really do a lot uh, as far as after the hook set, uh, basically just kind of wet socked it into the net, but a uh, really nice 40 inch fish and it was awesome to get on the board with that one. My buddy was pretty pumped up about it. Uh, he saw her coming from a long ways away and stuck her perfect how you should, brought her on the boat into that. Um, it was actually really funny, so I, I was freaking out, you know, first couple of fish of the season. Um, I went to set my rod down, pull the net up, we'll hear my reel handle, it actually hooked into the net dropped that into the water, had to grab that. So it was a mad scramble for my life in the back of the boat to get onto the net with this fish. So uh, it's pretty funny stuff, but I hope you enjoy this part of it as well. This is so good right here. Really good. A little bit warmer. Huh? Got him, nice. Bring him here. Dude, I dumped my rod. <laughs> you got a top water with that. I do. Woo. It looked way nicer when it was chasing it. <laughs> nice. This one's all scarred up. Beat up. Yep. Just let her go, she'll go. So this next fish catch is caught on a Conklin Lures pedigree. So it's kind of the same thing where it's got that dangly blade in the back, same with the Rusties. Uh, both of these baits are awesome lures, but uh, the the Conklin actually has like a really tight glide. So um, it's it's more so like a like a wobble glide, uh, not so much like the Hellhounds or you know something like that where they really shoot out to the side. But uh, it's a nice tight gliding action, um, increases your hookup percentage. And what we had going on here was we actually had uh, a lot of fish had gotten off or you know just barely set the hook and you get one or two head shakes and they pop off. So I told him, hey, maybe try this one uh, just to see if you'd still get bit on it. And then I was throwing the Rusties in the back just to, you know, that was the hot bait. So I wanted to keep that one rocking as well. But uh, I wanted to see with him being in the front of the boat, having the first break at them that maybe that they would be smashing that, but he would have a better hookup percentage. So during this time, um, 
we were actually talking about why why we were not getting good hookups and i kind of noticed that he was he was really twitching like like fast there was no pauses incorporated into his retrieve and i was like hey man you know this is what i do working gliders uh, i like to give it a couple of pauses in between let that thing hang let it kind of wobble on the way down um, a lot of times that will get you strikes especially when fish are kind of slow or lethargic and it'll get you more aggressive strikes as well so it was really funny how this one turned out. Um, you could see in the video, he was twitch, 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 and then he just stopped. And then wham, he got drilled. Uh, it was right on that pause, right when we were talking about it. So just kind of uh, coincidental of how that happens. But um, here's the last final fish catch of this trip, or of this day, and I hope that you enjoy this one as well. That's the problem, because I, I try to pause it all the time. Yeah, no, that's probably why. That's probably why you were missing fish. Coming. My rod's in the water, buddy. That one got it. Nice. Hang on, careful with the rod tip. did not go good as always i had a lot of fun bringing this one to you and i hope that you guys enjoyed it as well so if you would uh, please like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one